So Maker Speedrun is all about being able to design, build, manufacture and sell a product as quickly as possible. So this is the start of a number of videos that I plan to produce this year and it's called Maker Speedrun. So for this first Maker Speedrun challenge, did I actually manage to meet the goal of producing a product within a week? Day two. So last night I managed to send off uh, the designs to JLC PCB. Um, I ended up sending that off fairly late, roughly 1800, um, 1900. Uh, I tend to work in 24 hour time. Uh, they're churning away, building that uh, PCB up. I also order the parts from LCSC. Uh, there were certain parts that they didn't have, especially the DC buck converter and the LiPo charging. So I'm going to hop on to Element 14 and see what they can do for me. Okay, so I've got uh, these JST connectors, which are for the LiPo battery. Uh, the next thing I need to look at is, well, the thing I couldn't find from LCSC was the... Um, the LiPo battery charger. So, I mean, these are really expensive. I'm um, not sure. I'm aiming to get 200 of them, but uh, I think I might just scale it down to about 100. And I think I can, I can really afford um, too much of that. Can't find the boost converter. That's not good at all. If I can't find uh, the boost converter, then I'm in a bit of trouble. Uh, let's try, maybe they've changed the product number. Ooh. Okay, this isn't looking good. Okay, you might have to go to DigiKey. So DigiKey might have it, let's uh, just check. Okay, they do have it. And for immediate, they're in stock, I might just uh, save that and while I'm here I might as well just look for the LiPo battery charger and see if they've got it. If they've got it I'll just buy both of them from uh, DigiKey. Uh, $2.64 okay so $2.64 let's go back see how much Element 14 had. So Element 14 had them for $2 at 100 plus quantities. Price break 3000 <laughs> Okay right so, um, so $2.64, they're slightly more expensive. Uh, let's see what the price break is. Nice. So, I think I'll get both the battery charger and buck boost uh, converter from DigiKey. So, it uh, ends up being 449 Aussie kangaroo bucks. Things are just so expensive uh, when we're buying it uh, from Australia. So, I'll order those. I'll be able to get those uh, in, hopefully within a couple of days. So meanwhile on day two, uh, JLC PCB uh, progressed with the order. Uh, as you can see, it's just uh, going through the order. So that's about it for today. Let's check back in tomorrow and see how far it's progressed. Day three. So day three, uh, certainly progressing, 77%, 85%, and finally completed and my order was shipped excellent so uh, while i'm here i might as well uh, create the tindy product uh, in my store to create a product in tindy uh, you'll need to create a store of course is the first thing uh, and then you can go to products tab and then you can click on new product so i've already clicked on that new product button uh, but essentially you'll get to this and uh, you can fill out pretty much all the details. You've got the price, the number in stock. You've also got the category as well. And there's a number of things you can actually categorize this product as. So I set it to DIY Electronics Raspberry Pi. Then you've got the product description. So once you've filled out all that, uh, you can upload to media. And the little heart icon means it's the current primary image. So when you go to the store, that's the first image that you'll see on the product page. Uh, and then you can add in a whole lot of other images uh, afterwards. Uh, you can link it to a YouTube video, which I did there. Once you've got all the images there, you can add external 
links to documentation, source code and design files. Uh, you can also select product options and uh, you can add any number of product options. So I added in another option which was uh, support mic, which is uh, if you wanted to pay another $10, you can support my YouTube channel. So you can add any number of options you like. And I'll click into here and show you what that looks like. Uh, so display order, if you've got multiple options, you can select the order in which it appears in the drop down menu. Then you've got the option name, help text, you can add what the choice is, the additional cost. Uh, you can also add units. So for example, my Pi projector, I would regularly buy some headers and then I'll add that and I'll set the number in stock. The model number is something that you use when you're exporting the orders that you have. That just makes it easy for you to process and fulfill the orders. Uh, so that's the product options. Uh, then you've got price tiers. If someone buys 50 units, then you can set a, a sort of a unit price. So you might want to say, oh, it's $10 if someone buys 50. And this is the shipping rates uh, where you can select or deselect uh, whichever shipping rates uh, you want to use. Um, so that's pretty much it. It's fairly straightforward. Uh, of course, you just click on save when you're ready and it should uh, appear in the store. Any new products will have to go through admin approval. It usually takes 24 hours, maybe 48 hours. I think it's essentially business hours uh, that they approve. Sometimes they approve it on a Saturday and that's essentially what it looks like. Uh, that's pretty straightforward. Uh, so at the moment it's set as out of stock because I have zero quantity, of course. But uh, once I publish the final video, I'll set this number to three and it'll be available for purchase. Uh, so that's pretty easy to create a product under Tindy. So let's uh, check back in on Saturday. Hopefully I'll have everything delivered. Then I can start making up the PCBs. Then I'll make that product on my Tindy store live and the first three people can actually order them. Nice. This video is being sponsored by JLC PCB. Not only did they produce all the PCBs in this video, but they sourced almost all the components, apart from a couple that weren't in stock. JLC PCB can manufacture prototype PCBs from one to six layers with track widths down to 3.5 mil. They also support pretty much everything you can throw at them. So check the description below for a list of their capabilities. For only two bucks, you can get 10 PCBs manufactured within 48 hours. That's pretty cool.